Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good today. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Beth. Hey! And it feels weird filming because for me, I haven't filmed in like a week and something, but obviously for you guys, I have content at least two times a week for, for you guys. But for me, it just feels weird I haven't filmed in a while and I just feel out of practice but today's video I am doing another candy video and this was actually requested by the lovely oh my god I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong she wanted a Ferrero Rocher candy inspiration makeup look and her name is Sia Sukdil I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong but yeah she wanted me to do a Ferrero Rocher for her sister so happy birthday early to your sister and yeah, this is gonna be for you. This is video was for you. You wanted a Ferrero Rocher and I'm gonna do that. Guys, if you want me to do any of your candy inspirations, um, I have got a few lists to get through, but if you want me to try a candy out, then make sure you drop it down in the comment section below and I can do that for you, add it to my candy list. Today, as I said, we're gonna do Ferrero Rocher. If you're unsure what a Ferrero Rocher is, it's just this. And I absolutely love these, and these just remind me of Christmas. And you know, we're starting early, but no, it's not Halloween yet. But yeah, I don't know if they do Ferrero Rochers anywhere else, but I know they do a lot of them in the UK. And yeah, don't forget if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And let's go to Ferrero Rocher. But look, I'm literally just gonna use one palette, and this is the Lemon Drizzler drizzler <laughs> lemon drizzle palette by a heart revolution and i think this would fit the theme of a ferro rocher ferro rocher has a lot of golden yellowy goldens but also has browns in there too so i think this would be a good palette for that we're gonna start off with the eyes today and i've already prepped my eyes i've already used the fast base concealer by revolution beauty and oh, i love this concealer so far Woo, it is a good concealer and it's overtaken my other concealers. We're going to start off with using just a base and we're going to go into go in sugar. We're going to go in and go in sugar. Yeah, so it's just like a paley colour. I'm just going to put this literally all over the lid. And so today, guys, we're not going to do a cut crease. This is going to be actually an easy look and hopefully this look can be also wearable. You know I've been doing a lot of crazy colours with the candy makeup series but you know we've got some makeup looks that can be wearable like this reminds me this one will probably remind me of the fizzy cola bottle but this has more of a yellow to it so it could it's different in that way we're gonna go into a butter which is this really pale yellowy shade so we're gonna take that into our crease but i gotta wipe the leftovers because you know how it is we're gonna get some butter in our crease like that and same on the other eye already you can see the yellowness peeking through it's such a subtle shade though like it's not like that in your face it's just so like delicate i'm really happy doing this series though i feel like this series could go for on forever because there's just so many candies out there it will be on to infinity like it would take me ages to get through them all I bet. Now we've got the base on we're gonna move over to a yellow shade a yellow oh, I can't ever say that word. yellowy is that even a word yellowy yellow shade and I'm gonna go in lemon slice which is this color here we're gonna plump that onto our eyelid focusing more on the inner corner because we are gonna transition into a warm brown color but this is gonna be like the golden part of the packaging of Ferro Rocher so we're gonna put that there like that and I'm gonna do the same on the other side just like that and I think this will be really easy for you guys to try out if you want to because you know there's no cut creases or anything I hate cut creases right I need where's my other brush Oh, it's there. Okay, moving on to a more darker colour. I'm going to go in with, what should I go in first? I'm going to go with after tea, afternoon tea first, just to prep the eye, but I'm going to go in with a darker shade than that. And I'm just going to go and put this plan, plank it onto the outer eye area. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye but we're gonna use more of a darker shade in a minute, so bear that in mind. There we go. So this looks really messy right now because 
I have not blended it or anything. I'm just literally planking it on the skin. Okay, so we need more of brown in there. So I'm gonna take the same brush. This is more of a denser brush so it picks up more of the color. And I'm gonna go in slice of cake and I'm gonna put loads onto the brush and then I'm gonna put it onto my eye. Can you see that? And I'm gonna try like bring it up a bit, but I'm gonna put it into my crease as well, just in that socket, just like that. And it will look messy guys, so just chill for a bit. <laughs> I am gonna do some blending now, but as I'm blending, I'm gonna use a butter again, just de delicately tap that on. I'm just gonna blend it in with this, just so it's not as harsh but as I'm blending, it gets rid of the color. So this is probably something that you need to keep putting there. So we're going into the more of that color again and we're putting more in, but that has gone absolutely crazy. So we need to work that out. But as you're blending it, it kind of works itself out. So I say, oh my God, guys, it's been a while since I've done makeup, can't you tell? <laughs> My blending is going all over the place. It's just crazy. Like when you don't do makeup for ages, you kind of like lose it a bit. Not that I had much in me, but you know what I mean? Like it's same with eyeliner. If I haven't done eyeliner for ages, I just, it's like I'm a beginner at makeup again. Well, I still am, but that is just taking ages to blend. But I hope you can just see where I'm going with this with the warm brown and the golden into the inner corner. It's just taking a while to blend and I don't have patience. So I'm gonna go more into that butter color and I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. Just trying to get it presentable. This side, it is having a nightmare, this side is. I don't know how to fix this side, but it's, it just doesn't want to budge. But like I say, every time I'm in video, this is my bad eye and it just doesn't want to cooperate. It's just that eye. What is happening with you? Why are you not blending? This, this calls for plan B. I'm taking a different brush and this brush has no product on it. Maybe it'll look better when I put some foundation on. It might like even it out a bit. I think it's because I have like a mark there and it kind of looks like eyeshadow and I don't know why it looks like eyeshadow. So what if I just, <gasps> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it worse. Right guys, so looks a bit crazy right now, but I'm sure it'll come together once I put the base on. So I think that's it for the eyes. Oh no, I'm lying. It is not it. We're gonna put some shimmer on, right. It is now time to put some shimmer on and we are going to take, oh, what should we take? I'm gonna take a mixture of fluffy and tangy with these two here and just see what we can come up with. And I'm gonna spray my brush with the I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray in Guava and Rose. I had to think about that then. Fritz Fritz. Oh God. Pat this on to the eyelid of where lemon slice is. But I don't think it works as well with a brush. So I might just use my finger, that's better. So we're gonna move on to the base now and that's probably one of the quickest eye makeups I've done with the candy series. So we're gonna go onto the base and I'm gonna use my Delilah Cosmetics Future Underwear Primer, Resist Underwear, and I'm running out of this, which is a shame because I really, really like this stuff. And I'm just gonna put this everywhere. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, and we're gonna go with the one and only what I absolutely use all the time. I use this all the time, but I don't wear it for work. I have my work foundation here. So this is the Revlon Colors Day 150 in the shade Buff. You all know what this is, because I literally use it every time. And I'm literally running out, actually. <gasps> no way, I'm actually running out. What the hell? I've never run out of a foundation before. Like, what? That means you love it though. Like, Oh no, it's come out, so too soon. And I'm just gonna use one of my Zoeva brushes. This is the 100, 100, 103 Defined Buffer Brush. We're just gonna pat this onto the skin. We should really worn a headband for this. Okay, so I like to put it on with a foundation brush first and then I like to 
pounce it out with my beauty sponge. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna use what I said at the start of the video. Oh, I thought I lost it then. I'm going to conceal under my eyes. I think I've got too much there. It's my nose. And then we're gonna pounce this out like crazy. And then for powder, I'm gonna go into my Imagination Highlighting the Moon, and this is my favorite palette, and I've hit pan on my powder. Oh, I've hit pan already on my powder, so that's how much I've been loving it. And I've also been loving this as a bronzer as well. So I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender and just powder under my eyes. This is kind of like a new way how I've been powdering in a minute. I've been using my Beauty Blender, and I'm quite enjoying it, but I feel like I've been, that's why I've hit pan because I don't realize how much I'm using when I pick it up onto a sponge. So it's probably why I've hit pan so quickly. Usually with powders though, I hit pan on that first compared to any other palettes because it's just an essential in it and you just use it constantly all the time in your makeup. So, okay, I think that's enough powder. Yeah, what we're saying? I think I'm powdered up all good. Now we're going to go on to contour and you know, I'm still in the same palette, that's why I'm loving it. And I'm gonna go in the color literally and just gonna contour. Okay, so now on to bronzer, still in the same palette. I'm going to go in the color Kayut. This is actually a powder, um, but I've been using it as a bronzer recently and I've been loving it. It's just a really nice shade. I feel like I put too much on there, but oh well, it doesn't matter. So for blush, I'm gonna use, actually, where is it? Yes, I'm gonna use my I Heart Revolution Bleeding Heart Blush, and this is really cute. It is cracked, and I'm just gonna take that into my cheeks. Just like how cute that is. Eey. Sometimes I feel like I put too much on, but it doesn't matter if you like it. Okay, so now on for highlights and I feel like I'm gonna go in the same palette again, Imagination, and I'm gonna use a mixture between this one, this one, and this one. I feel like that'll be a nice mix, but I'm gonna spray my face first with the same spray. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little fan brush and I'm just gonna mix these two together and just use it as a highlight. Look at that. Woo, loving it. So it's cute. This makeup look reminds me of when I did the I Heart Revolution surprise egg makeup look. I used the golden one and this eyeshadow look is making me throw back in that time. Yeah, if you didn't know what I mean, I'll just link it up here and then you'll see, but it just reminds me of those colors. We're gonna do the lower lash line and I'm gonna go into Lemon Spice again. Brush, I'm gonna go in a little smaller brush and I'm gonna take that Lemon Spice like round this area and I'm gonna do the same. Right, we're gonna go in the slice of cake and I'm just gonna do the same and put it under my lash line. Right, onto mascara, I'm going to go in with my Ibn Kate Perversion Mascara. I literally use this in all my makeup videos recently. <gasps> I don't even know what I'm gonna do for lips. Ooh. Okay guys, so I feel like the eyes are quite simple, so I've got to whip this out because this is such a funky color. This is the I Heart Revolution Dragon Metallic Lips in the shade Legend. It's totally goldenness, and I just feel like it suits the Ferrero Rocher theme. So we're gonna put this on, it is crazy. So if you don't wanna put these kind of lips on, you don't have to, but I'm going with it because I like to go all out. <laughs> these lipsticks are not the best when you got chat lips like me today. I am really yellow. I am very Ferrero Rocher. I'm happy with it. I left my eyebrows on from at work, so that's how lazy I am. I'm just gonna leave my brows how they are. I feel like I need more lipstick though. Yay! So guys, here is my Ferrero Rocher candy makeup inspired look. Does that make sense? Ferrero Rocher candy inspired makeup look. And I'm really happy with it. It does remind me of the time when I did the I Heart Revolution Gold Surprise Egg makeup look. So it's kind of cool, but I really mixed it up using this 
yellow golden lipstick. See ya, suck deal. I hope you like this video and yeah, fair shake completed. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And guys, don't forget if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos and more of my candy series, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's so awesome. And yeah, I'm going to see what Dan thinks this makeup look. Shall I tell him? Dan, can I have your opinion, please? What do you think of this candy makeup look? I don't like it. What am I? <laughs> no. What, what chocolate am I? You won't like him because they got nuts in. Oh, no. you the one. <laughs> I think he likes it. I don't know. <laughs> also, don't forget, let me know what your favourite candy is and if you want me to try it out in this candy makeup series. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!